everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Cannon, together we can game. In the last episode of Can Play Deus Ex, we tried to make our way into the Aquinius Hub Access. In this episode, we are going to continue moving forward. We weren't able to do that because I don't have the key and or code and I need it. So looking in here, can I... Kind of looks like I can go in there. But uh, there's a data cube here, why don't we go ahead and read it? Susie, go! The cages are open! I don't know what happened. Some kind of attack. I got to the Aquinius Hub. Yes, the code works, and our monkey friends are transgenic. I'm pretty sure. I will be in the reactor lab. Don't come to find me. I will meet you on the surface when it's safe. Ooh, got pretty serious there. I want to go ahead and look at the security computer terminal. And I do want to say that one of my longtime viewers, Evan Jones, let me know that we are getting close to the finale, and I am... Ooh, augmentation containment! Yes! He let me know that we were getting close to the augmentation containment. Evan, you are always so helpful. <laughs> In all seriousness, no. He let me know that we are getting really close to the finale. And that's exciting because I was told originally like 55 to 70 episodes and we're here. We haven't even hit 50 yet. So yeah, things are getting pretty interesting. Now I want to see what is my primary objective at the moment. Talk to Helios at the Aquinas lab and gain access to sector four. Get past the blast doors north of the helipad. And, ooh, new, Dark Age. First go to the coolant control room at the northwest corner of Sector 4 and cut off the coolant, or join the Illuminati so I can do... We're getting some options, and from what I can tell, we have some options when it comes to... Oh, I don't have enough room. We have some options when we don't have room. You know? But we have some options for how we want to end the game, and I'm actually really excited about that. And I have a plan for it, and you'll see in time. So, I want to go ahead and might as well upgrade arms, from what I can tell. I think that'd be a pretty good investment considering the frequency of my use of the dragon's tooth and yeah i'm pretty excited for what's to come can't go up there but this is all new in exploration sense go ahead and see what's around here because this is where you came Ooh, and another data cube hey sandy i finally got the secure login for lab b13 for mac he said to have a ball just don't blow us all to kingdom come while you're at work if you find anything that helps hooking up those blue fusion gizmos, let us know. Might give us a better idea to exactly those reactors work. Log in, Area 51, Bravo 13, Jake. Interesting. Take that bioelectric cell down here. Go ahead and get what's in the combat supply crate. More ammo. Glad to get. And another data cube! Ooh, wasn't expecting to see you though. Bioelectric cell. Let's see what this says. From Jacob McKenzie to Agent Cairo. I'm moving the explosive. All the explosives we find in storage. I don't think there's any danger of sweating or spontaneous detonation. The stuff looked like it was pretty stable, but I thought it might be best to secure structurally in sound location. If you or your people require access, the explosive locker code is 4225 Mac. Oh. Still have not gotten the code to the Aquinius hub yet, but that I'm glad I went up there to explore gonna probably afford to turn this off Where are we? oh I could have didn't even try that so if I was to take a guess it's weird because it looks like or sounds like I probably shouldn't be able to break that let's go here let's try jumping into this All right what do you, do you have anything on you? You don't have enough room for the hazmat. There's a multi-tool too. Gotta be a reason it gave me the option to get a hazmat. I don't know, what do I have on me? All of what I have is pretty useful. But I don't really use my darts that much. And this might be a controversial decision, but we're so close to the end. I just have not found a good use for the darts. And at this point, rather have the hazmat suit. So that's kind of my choice. Hope you understand. I just some enemy and some weapon types you can find good uses for your playstyle. For me, that one wasn't it. I'm so glad I don't have enough room for that combat knife. Okay, so four two two five. Doubt it'll work. Figured, but worth a shot anyway. So it wasn't here. Get away through there. So now all I can say, I guess, is I've gone in a circle, but we need to find a way to get into the Aquinius access hub. 
because we need to talk to Helios, which makes sense. Now, I could just... Uh, I could just, in theory, try to go to areas I haven't been, like down here, which I'm pretty go, but I need to use the stairs to get there. I can't use lockpicks or anything, because, you know, the area is pretty, uh, pretty secure. It has infinite, so... Where I'm gonna say, been down here already. Trying to see where it wants me to go. Take a guess, maybe further down here. So the further down we go, the more we'll find Reactor Lab B13. 100 skill points awarded. We did unlock this, we just didn't go through it. We now know the code is 4225. These are the antimatter reactors. Two giant bombs waiting to blow. But first you will have to go to Sector 4 to shut down the coolant. Watch out for the escaped greys down below. You couldn't possibly go through with something like that. You'd kill everyone, including yourself. We'd kill everyone, including ourselves. Sounds like a good time to quick save. Also, the greys down below. I'm pretty sure he means aliens. So if we can see one, I'd be pretty excited about that. Right there. Would you look at that? Who would have thought Area 51, an area famous for aliens, had aliens? But I'm interested to why Tong called him the Greys. Because most people go, little green men seem to be friendly, but I'll see what happens. They still there? Who? The Greys. They're right outside by the reactors. You mean space aliens? We lost power when the missile hit. The cages. They came unlocked. You have a pretty clean shot at the surface if you leave now. No, no. Not until I see troops. How'd you get back here? This area is restricted. I was thinking about firing up the reactors. Haha. <laughs> Good one. Even the Seraphic 8X guys say the reaction's too unstable. They only bring it up to run tests. Alien technology? And that's what they say, but I think it's a lie. The Greys are just clones. They say from cells they got at Roswell, but how do we know? They could have just engineered monkeys to not have any hair. Can the Greys run the reactors? Ha! <laughs> They're monkeys. That's the thing. Maybe they have super brains, but they don't know anything about any alien civilization because they grew up in cages. Never been to Sector 4 myself, but they locked the blast doors because they're doing more than cloning down there. I found out one of the codes, 1038, but that turned out to be for the Akinas hub here in Sector 3. I don't know. Maybe the Akinas system controls access, but I haven't figured out how yet. Akinas. Aquinas, Akinas. Eh. Don't want to go ahead and engage on that, but we did get the code thanks to this helpful mechanic. You have anything else? They're still out there. I mean, yeah, we didn't do anything with them. I like it was like, they could just be monkeys. They're clearly aliens. Like, come on, dude. Like, look at that thing. Yeah, that screams alien to me. I don't even know if they're gonna do. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, sorry. You attack first. Animal carcass. It's interesting that's what it classifies it at. You know what though? There's another one. Get you before you get me. Sorry, buddy. I know you got out of your containment, but I can't trust you. Alright, this is probably the time to go ahead and use it. Hazmat suit activated. Go ahead and use this while we're down here. Okay. Go ahead and use... Health. Pretty good in health, actually. I'm surprised. Let's go ahead and use F10 while we're at it, too. F11 helps with both of these. Biocell. Healing faster than I can take damage. Good. Data cube. We'll get out of here, because... Luckily, that'll be in my notes. Oh god. Oh god, don't die down here. Do not die down here, Andrew. You can do this! Use the stairs! Woo! Did that pretty alright! Gonna use four of these, or actually I'll use three. Let's go ahead and look at what we can do. Well, not here. Not what I want, anyway. Bulls notes. 1945-12. But I heard something upstairs, like automatic weapon fire. I reported to my sector lead, but she told me it was a training exercise. 
203402. Bunch of those folks in black suits like they stepped off the set of Father Knows Best. <laughs> kept asking questions about reactors and I kept telling them they needed to wait till Mac gets back. 231130. Finally managed to hack the code of the stairwell blast door. 1038. This place is totally undocumented mess of 50s tech and weird ass stuff and new toys from the labs. Amazing any of it works. So that mechanic did actually mention Roswell. And essentially, if you don't know, Roswell was the signing of the first ever alien in the United States, supposedly. Maybe we'll learn more information with Deus Ex, but that's what I know. Who knows what Deus Ex will inform me of? I'll tell you what, the conspiracy, I love the fact this game is just so riddled in conspiracy theater. Theater? Well, that and theories. So why don't we go ahead? 1038. Talk to Helios and... Oh, I'm still running things. And my hazmat was still activated, so thankfully I did hear that and that saved me. Ooh. 100 school points awarded. Goggles. Heal, but it's not. Cool. The mechanic. We did get a password. I want to try it. I think it was Area 51 Bravo 13. Let's try it. Area 1 Bravo 13. Not work. Well, let's go ahead and hack and see what we can find out. Ooh. Your request for discussion concerning the plausibility of creating genetically viable candidates for nano augmentation through the cloning has sparked considerable interest. We believe with sufficient research investment in the careful s cultivation of acquired tissue samples from known H-type epsilon. Negative individuals could yield an indefinite number of specimens with the immunity factors required to tolerate an injection of a nano-organic material. If you examine the attached studies, you will see a repeated cloning from the primary source material with a 0.53% in immunoglobin variants. We would suggest utilizing this data in the Illuminati during the smallpox vaccination of the 40. We look forward to hearing any comments that you might have. I'd like to investigate Lucius, Paige. I come to that Andrew should be brought up in a more supervised environment than his brother. Hold on, I want to get that information. That's information that's very private to me. What's over here? Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond. Jacob sat down on the bench, unrolled his chessboard onto the rough stone table in front of him. As he was moving, playing a piece, the shadow fell across the board. He looked up in the sun. Merryweather, he said. Jacob. She settled herself down on the opposite bench, leaning heavily on her cane. It didn't turn out so well for you, did it? Jacob said nothing. She gestured to the board with one hand and detected just a hint of tremor. You're playing black today. He put the queen down on her square and his fingers lingered. No, it didn't turn out well. I did some stupid things. He closed his eyes for a moment. I cared, and some people died because of it. Meriwether made a ticking sound. Not the caring that mattered. Jacob, it's what comes after. What are you going to do now? Jacob paused for a moment. Now, I'm going to play another game. We've gotten excerpts from Jacob's Shadow throughout this adventure, and it's been always interesting for me to read and get the idea and see kind of the story progress, because as I mentioned, it is very vital to what we are doing. So, all right. I'd like to investigate possibilities of resurrecting the bovine manipulation project with an eye towards the gray life form. While the project seemed a failure at the time, it was successful at the propaganda tactic in diverting attention away from the dreamland research. With recent advances in genetic science, the gray life form could be engineered to protect MJ-12 facilities while also serving as a useful bit of meme indirection. Memes confirmed, Deus Ex. Interesting idea, Bob, but I'm sure MJ-12's research allocates can be put in more useful in pursuing human augmentation projects. However, I'll bring this idea to Stan and Morgan. See, they're working together. Bob Page, secondary unit. I've come to believe that Andrew should be brought up in a more supervised environment than his brother. I have serious doubts as to his brother's usefulness in our primary unit and would rather that at least one of the secondary units was in direct control. Terminate the parents, but see, what, see that Andrew is not harmed. We'll move him to our school in Switzerland where he can be overseen of development. If it becomes necessary, his brother is expendable. Page. Wow. So, Paige, from the beginning there, he killed our parents. They've been using me and Paul for a very long time. But that could have been told. It's just, it's one thing to know it. It's another to see just how vital and how much Paige has controlled in my life. Also, him talking to Everett and Dowd concerns me. Because I don't know, I don't trust them fully. 
I never really put my eggs in any one basket with Deus Ex, I can say that, so not too surprised. Canius, something strange, I'm sure. A package, an analyst of a new compression protocol, Quinius last sleep while I was dillying, Bob paid situational update. The past we considered savage and his renegades to be inconsequential. Okay. Is there any way I can look at that from my goals and notes? I'm sure. But it was interesting to get the information there. All the way down, JC. Get to Page's compound and take him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions, <clears throat> the prosperity of the last century. The giddy acquiescence. Trust us, JC. We can put the world back together. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. Rueful, as I would expect for the fall of the Illuminati, pining for its return. Either nostalgic or senile. Oh well, the old take comfort in delusions. No harm done. Wow. As you can say, a voice I haven't heard in a while. Despair he has. Luckily, I'm able to clear out the surrounding area. Just the disgust he had in hearing him. Trying to explore what's down and over here before we continue moving forward. Pick. You don't have enough inventory space for the crowbar. Maybe I should go down. I'm never too sure which path I should take immediately. I will say that. This area is pretty large, so. I hear a reloading sound. Find anything? Quiet down there. Probably save. I had found a dead body. Got a cube. Image, Area 51, Sector 4 added. Let's go ahead to the images. Okay, there's a lot of things down here. So we're making our way to Sector 4. Alright, we've done a lot. We have done a lot. There's more to go. I should probably activate false alarm, I guess. No, uh, you didn't guess incorrectly. Don't need that one. Alright, let's go ahead and go to health. See what I need. Torso, of course. Always the torso that takes the damage there. Ooh, Scrambler would be useful down there. Famous last words before I mess this up. See if I can get it. I don't know how far I can throw, but let's find out. Did it? Yes! It's on my side! That is nice! That'll come in handy. I don't even know how long it'll stay on my side, but... Uh, theory is for a while. I took a lot of damage from one Greasel. Oh, okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. Heal, yay. Oh, I was like, what am I hitting? I'm hitting combat supply crates. That makes more sense. Prod charger. You know what? I'd rather have a prod charger than that. I was told that most people settle on getting a combat knife. I'm gonna settle for getting a prod charger. Oh, never mind. I will find an alternative. I don't know what it is yet. But I will find it. Ooh, thank you. Love having that sniper rifle it's ammo. Baton, there we go. I'll take a baton. I will listen to you after I run because I forgot the scrambler grenade isn't as doesn't last that long actually. I should have known, but it was okay for the time being. Take that! Should have done that from the start. But live and learn. Now I wonder. Or is it one oh oh wait, go back. I can't. One oh three eight. 
Oh, it was worth a shot of trying that way. I probably have it, but I might as well use the multi-tools. He said, not yet. You must meet me. So we still got to meet with Helios. We got to see all the options were presented. All right. Choices, choices, choices. Deus Ex has given us a lot of choices throughout, so... 50 skill points for exploration. So it's not surprising we're getting more choices even now. I do find it pretty useful that I went ahead and explored this area though. Because the more we explore, the better, so... Time to go up. Here. Zero three eight. Four two two five. There we are. Found it there. You know what? Go ahead and shoot this from afar. Not bad. Fifty skill points awarded, and I got some rockets. I do want to get some more. Two of those. Let's look at my health. I can afford to heal, and I got some more remaining. All in all, happy with that. Okay. Checking Someone's gear. there. I can hear you. Possible contact. Someone's there. I can hear you. Possible contact. Now you could hear me. Okay, why don't we go? Where are they, actually? That's a really good question. Can't really hear my footsteps. Care how good you hear. That is silent. I know that's the point, but hang. All right. Ooh. All right. Oh, there's just another way to get there. That's cool. Find anything, but I find ammo for that. Well, turn off this and turn off that. I haven't gotten any BE recently, so. Closer. Yes. You'll come to the integration unit at the top of the chamber. Come to me. Integration unit at the top of the chamber. Use. Also use more multi tools. Why not? It's weird because I don't think we've seen Helios in person up until this point. So this is going to be an interesting option. All right. And open. Granted, of course. Or just you know, we're getting more skill points. We're getting more ammo. Two things I will gladly take. Ooh. See, it was a good thing I didn't go ahead and use them. Med kit, thankfully. Anything? Candy bar. Is that a scientist? Or appears to be. Looks like we're going to meet Helios. Go to Sumer on two. Down. Can. Probably wants me at three, but go ahead and see what we can find. Want to fall in? Oh, found B. Oh, I say B E for bioelectric. If you're wondering, I realize I never explained that, but let's go up. Let's go see Helios. I'm excited to what he has to say. I'm excited to see what he looks like in the flesh, or. The computer, anyway. 100 skill points awarded. This is Helio. I'll be. We'll go to Sector 4 and deactivate the uplink locks. Yes. Then you will come back and we will integrate our systems. I don't understand. What do you want? You're just a machine. You are ready. I do not wish to wait for Bob Page. With human understanding and network access, we can administrate the world. Yes. Yes. Rule the world? Why? Who gave you the directive? There must be a human being behind your ambition. I should regulate human affairs precisely because I lack all ambition. Whereas human beings are prey to it. Their history is a succession of inane squabbles, each one coming closer to total destruction. 
In a society with democratic institutions, the struggle for power can be peaceful and constructive, a competition of ideologies. We just need to put our institutions back in order. The checks and balances of democratic governments were invented because human beings themselves realize how unfit they were to govern themselves. They needed a system. Yes, an industrial age machine. Human beings may not be perfect, but a computer program with language synthesis is hardly the answer to the world's problems. Without computing machines, they had to arrange themselves in crude structures that formulize decision-making. A highly imperfect, unstable solution. I'm a more advanced solution to the problem. A decision-making system that does not involve organic beings. I was directed to make the world safe and prosperous, and I will do that. You will give me the ability. You will go to Sector 4 and find the Aquinas router at the east end of Page's complex. Yes. You will deactivate the update clocks. I'll think about it. Man, we have even more options and things we can do. Get past the blast doors north, so we can either merge with Helios, we can start a new Dark Age, or we can join the Illuminati. We got a lot of options. I don't think we can talk to Helios again, but... Gosh, we got, we got choices, that is for sure. I also loved that speech. Oh, JC, even though humans aren't perfect, we do have some redeeming characteristics, at least according to JC. And also, I love how they... Helios is mine. I will be the one to merge, the one to see and know everything. To rule. To rule everything. Boom! Oh. Trust me. I will use the security bots to protect you. My project will fail if I am integrated with the wrong individual. So now, Helios is on our side, which is really cool. Oh, wow, and the security bots are on our side. We got, we have uh, some backup, which is awesome. Ooh, I want to watch this. Oh, at least it's best of my ability, anyway. Got him. Thanks, Helios, that's pretty useful. Don't find anything. That is very nice, though. We have been given some things to think about. That is what I'm uh, seeing here. And I can. This. Someone with a GEP gun. Oh, it's coming towards me! I was like, why is that coming closer? Am I crazy? It was! Alright, so. Oh, God, no! Uh, took a little damage on my leg there. A little more than I wanted to, but wasn't as bad as I thought it would. I wanted to talk briefly about, you know, what JC and Helios were talking about. How the democratic institutions did create a checks and balances. I like the counter he had to it. In that little debate they had, you know, the humans did up, did come up with a system because we were on run. I mean, that's honest. So it kind of does make sense that Helios believes, based on his understanding being a machine and un kind of unbiased third party, he has every right to believe that what he thinks is true. I mean, makes sense. I kind of understand all sides, but there's only one final path I can choose for the end of this let's play. Well, there's three, but what I mean by that is, and when we'll get to it, is I have to make a choice. It will be pretty important. You know what? That's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Let me know. How do you think I handled Area 51? I think I did it pretty well. We're not done yet. We still have a little ways to go. I need to keep exploring, keep doing things. I'm curious what you have to say. Let me know what you think of this episode somewhere in the comments. I'm really curious. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great day.